Are you tired of looking at dull and boring Excel sheets? Do you want to add some color to your data and make it stand out? Well, look no further because in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting to change the color of cells based on their value. On my sample worksheet, I have the test scores for some students. My goal is to have the test scores of 50 or higher be highlighted in green and the scores of less than 50 highlighted in red. The first thing I'll do is highlight the test scores. These are in cells C3 through C13. Then I'll make sure I'm in the Home tab. Next, about halfway across the ribbon is the Conditional Formatting button. Once I click on it, I'll be shown a drop-down menu of options. I'm going to select the first one, Highlight Cells Rules. This generates another menu of options. I'll choose Greater Than. We now see that a pop-up window appears. It says Format Cells That Are Greater Than. In the first form area, I'll enter 49. This means anything greater than 49, which is our goal of 50 or higher, will have the conditional formatting rule applied to it. In the next form field, I can select from some predefined options to create custom formatting. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll select the green fill with dark green text, and then I'll click OK. Look at that. All of the scores 50 or higher have the conditional formatting rule applied to it. Now you may ask, what about the scores below 50? Well, that's the beauty of conditional formatting. You can apply multiple rules to the same cell or cells. So once again, I'll make sure my test scores are highlighted. Then I'll go back to conditional formatting options. Once again, I'll choose highlight cells rules. This time, however, I'll choose less than. You'll notice the pop-up window now says format cells that are less than. In the first field, I'll enter 50 because we want this rule to apply to all test scores less than 50. This time I'll select the option light red fill with dark red text and click OK. Now all of our scores that are less than 50 are shaded red. Best of all, the conditional formatting will apply to any changes you make to the data. Let's change the test score of Peter Griffin from 25 to 75. Now his score is highlighted in green. Using conditional formatting is a great way to make your data easier to analyze at a glance. And with conditional formatting, the possibilities are endless. You can experiment with different color options, use formulas, and even apply conditional formatting to multiple sheets at once. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to be notified when I release new videos.